Snip, crackle, pop. Today, Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the world's only talking cereal, brings you Wild Bill Hickok, transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingle. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story, Aunt Sarah's Gunfight. Wranglers, get Mom to buy Kellogg's Rice Krispies and Kellogg's Corn Flakes today. On the backs of both packages, you get cut-out masks. Funny masks, scary ones, weird ones, all free of extra cost. Eight masks on the back of Kellogg's Corn Flakes boxes, four masks on the large-size Rice Krispies packages. There's a witch mask, pirate, Indian, bear, gorilla, all kinds of masks to cut out and scare your pals with on Halloween. Fun for a party or trick-or-treat, too. So get going. Get Mom to buy Kellogg's Corn Flakes and Rice Krispies so you can cut out the mask. United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his big deputy Jingles lived a life of excitement and adventure. But never was it more exciting and adventurous than the time the two lawmen stepped into a storm of lead and powder smoke when they tried to make peace in Aunt Sarah's gunfight. The real nice day, Bill. Don't we have some owl hoots we're supposed to chase or some rustlers to capture or... Maybe a range war with a lot of bullets flying around. That sure doesn't sound like you, Jingles. You're always saying you don't like trouble. Well, some kinds of troubles are worse than others. For instance, I'd a lot rather be out somewhere getting shot at than riding down to the station to meet Aunt Sarah. Seems to me as though you don't care too much about your Aunt Sarah. Oh, but Bill, I, I like her all right. She's a real nice old lady, but she's the kind who likes to have her own way. The bossy kind, huh? Well, not exactly, but she's determined. Aunt Sarah is a real determined woman. Shake it up a little, Jingles, or we won't be there when the train gets in. I don't care, Bill. You know, I used to live with Aunt Sarah back in East Sidedale, and she still thinks I'm just a little boy. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, yes, there is, Bill. She still calls me Jingles Pie. Jingles Pie? <laughs> That's sort of cute, bud. Now, Bill Hickok, you cut that out. No, maybe Aunt Sarah won't stay long in Santa Fe. Well, that's what I was hoping. She's real sweet, but I'd just as soon she'd be sweet back in Kansas and sit out here where I am. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, watch out steady there, boy. Simmer down now, Joker. You've seen trains before. Well, there's the conductor down a couple of cars, and uh uh-oh, somebody's getting off. That must be Aunt Sarah. That's her, all right. Howdy, Aunt Sarah! Well, well, if it isn't my favorite nephew, Jingle Pies. Oh, Aunt Sarah, cut out that pie business. I'm not a little boy anymore, honest. you always be my little boy. Yes, ma'am, that's what I was afraid of. I mean, I reckon so. Oh, I ain't sure this here's Wild Bill Hickok. Wild Bill Hickok. My, I'm happy to meet you. Jingles has told me so much about you in his letters. Yeah, Bill's my partner. I'm glad to know you, ma'am. You can be real proud of Jingles. Too. Oh, I am. And I'm so glad I'm going to live out here where I can keep an eye on him all the time. Live out here? Yes, isn't that wonderful? No. Oh, I mean, I guess so. Uh, oh, you mean just for a while, just a little visit, don't you? No, I mean from now on. Sold my home, got all the truck owned in the world right up there in the baggage car. I'm moving west, Jingles. Well, what do you know? I don't know what I know. Aunt Sarah, New Mexico's a wild territory. Now, this ain't no place for you to move to. Now, don't you worry about me, Jingles Pie. I ain't. I'm worrying about New Mexico. Where are you planning to live, ma'am? You figured to rent a house or stay at the hotel? Oh, I'm not going to stay in Santa Fe. I bought me a business from a man I met in Kansas City. Oh, well, then you're going back to Kansas City, huh? No, indeed, Jingles Pie. The man in Kansas City sold me a real nice little hotel in a town about 20 miles from Santa Fe. You're going to run a hotel? Why not? I just love to keep house, and you always said it was a good cook. Yeah, that's right. You say this hotel's about 20 miles from here. Nothing much out there but desert. That's right. The only things out there besides Indian hogans and prairie dog holes is a little sort of a dump called Red Dog. That's it. I bought the hotel in Red Dog. Oh, no, Aunt Sarah. 
you did. Well, I most certainly did. What's wrong with that? Well, uh, Red Dog is sort of a rough town. Right. It's just plain poison. Why, the people that live there are so crooked they have to screw their shirts on. Why, they've killed three sheriffs already this year, and they have so many gunfights. Uh, why, their cemetery's bigger than the town. Oh, Aunt Sarah, you ain't going to go to Red Dog. I bought that hotel. I got a good, clear title to it, and I'm going to Red Dog. So just give me a hand with my baggage. Oh, I told you she was a real determined woman, Bill. Sure looks that way, Jingles. But if she's going to Red Dog, looks like we're going too. There's a hotel right ahead, Jingle. Drive the wagon up in front, and I'll take Buckshot and Joko over the hitch rack. Okay, Bill, but stay close to us. I got a hunch we're going to need you. Ain't much of a town, is it, Jingle? I told you that, Aunt Sarah. It's no place for you to be buying a hotel. I'm not buying it. I've already bought it, and that's that. I'll make the best of it. Well, here we are. Whoa, whoa there. Now you sit tight, Aunt Sarah, till I get down, then I'll give you a hand. Here comes somebody to meet us, Jingles. We must have been expected. That's nice. Well, I'm down now. All right, you big bull moose. You're down. Now climb back up again, turn that team around, and get out of town. Now, just a doggone minute. Who in the heck do you think you are? That doesn't matter. But I know who you are. This old lady here figures she bought the hotel from a man named Spencer back in Kansas City, right? Wrong. She's not an old lady. She's my Aunt Sarah. But I did buy the hotel, and I've got a deed from Mr. Spencer to prove it. No, ain't that great. I'm Todd Blake, and I'm running the hotel now just like I run everything else in Red Dog. But Aunt Sarah bought the hotel. Shut up. I'm shut. You got two forty fives pointed right at your big vest. Now get back on that wagon before I count three, or I'll blast a hole in you that team can drive through. One. But listen. Two. Jingle, come on. Three. Wranglers, eating beats talking when it comes to a bowl of Kellogg's Rice Krispies for breakfast. Always so fresh and crisp, they speak right up with their cheerful snap, crackle, pop, just as soon as you touch them with milk. And another treat I'll bet lots of you fellas and gals like is big, plump, tasty marshmallows, right? Well, sir, you take something as fresh, crisp, and delicious as Kellogg's Rice Krispies, and you mix it all up with something as sweet, plump, and appealing as marshmallows, and it just figures you got yourself a real treat. Well, sir, we call that Kellogg's Marshmallow Crispy Squares, so easy to fix, too. The nine-minute recipe for this dandy treat is right on the Kellogg's Rice Krispies package. So easy that even you young cowpokes won't have any trouble to follow it. It's fun, too. Why don't you surprise the whole family with a batch real soon like? Or maybe Mom would rather do it herself. But just make sure you got some Kellogg's Rice Krispies and marshmallows on hand. Take it from your old pal Slim. Kellogg's Marshmallow Crispy Squares are mighty tasty eaten. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Let's march right up to the table now. Rice Krispies taste the best, and how? Snap, crackle, pop. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Jingle stepped into a deadly threat to his life when he stepped off the wagon in the little town of Red Dog. Todd Blake, with two loaded forty-fives pointing at Jingles, counted slowly to three, and then... Ah! Hold it right there. Oh, hands. All right, your hands hurt, but get them up anyhow. Bill, I was hoping you were watching. I heard the whole thing, Jingles. Blake's a pretty brave man. Running women out of town, shooting men he's got the drop on. Hickok, you're a big man most places in the West, but not in this town. You try to move into Red Dog, you're asking for more trouble than you'll ever be able to handle. Jingles, pick up his gun so he won't shoot us in the back, and let's get your Aunt Sarah moved in. Sure, Bill. Uh, that is, if Aunt Sarah still wants to move in. Well, I can't say as how I'm too happy, but I got my money tied up in this thing, and I sort of hate to see a weasel like Blake here stop me from doing anything. Had a girl, Aunt Sarah. I'm warning you. Oh, shut up, you big sore head. Why don't you go get a drink of water and fall down the well? Come on, Bill, let's move her in. Get 
Get out of that bunk, Slash, and get your guns off. Uh, what's up now, Todd? Another stagecoach hold up, or you got something else just as good? I got nothing but trouble this time. That old lady that bought the hotel from Spencer's here. She's taking over. But you said you'd have her out of town in five minutes. What's the matter? Can't you handle an old lady? Of course you're not, Ed, but I need a little help to handle who's with her. Who's that? Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles. Hickok? Todd, he's probably carrying a warrant for every man that's living in that hotel. Sure. That's why I took over the hotel. Owning the whole town, I've got the perfect hideout for any killer or outlaw in the West that wants to pay my price. So who moves in on your little gold mine but the one lawman that none of your guests want on their trail? Well, he won't be around long. For the prices I get, I promise protection from the law with every room I rent. Now get your guns and let's go. Mr. Jingle's bag's up to 210. <laughs> I wonder why I never thought of running a hotel before. Only I sure don't like the idea of running one in the town of Red Dog. What are you, Jingle's, the clerk? Yeah, Bill. Boy! Oh, boy! Take Mr. Hickok's bags. <laughs> mm, that's fine, except this hotel never saw a bellboy. In fact, it isn't even a hotel. Well, it sure looks like one. Uh, what do you mean, Bill? Jingles' this hotel is a hideout for some of the biggest outlaws and killers in the West. Oh, now, Bill, what do you mean? I've been looking over some of the guests. There's Whitey Bean, the train robber they've been looking for for six months. He's here? He sure is. Hmm. There's Rex Dawson. He's wanted for some shooting down in Texas. Well, I thought he was in Mexico. And there's plenty more like those two. Blake set up this whole town just for crooks and outlaws. Aunt Sarah sure bought herself a fine little nest of snakes, didn't she? She sure did. But she let us write to some of the men we've never been able to find. You know, we ought to make her a deputy. You mean we're going to start rounding them up? Sure. There's a perfectly good jail here in Red Dog that hasn't been used for a long time. What do you say we fill it up? Well, now, that sounds real easy when you say it, Bill. But, well, I'll just bet my new saddle blankets we ain't going to do it without plenty of trouble. Maybe we can if we can surprise them. Five of the men we want are playing cards right now. Where? Right here in the dining room of the hotel. Come on. Now, Bill, let's think this thing over just a little bit. Those hombres in there are tough customers. I know it. That's why I want them in jail. Oh, howdy, James. Howdy. What's the idea of busting in here, Hickok? The game's over, Dawson. I'm here on business. What kind of business? Law business. You're all under arrest. What do you mean, can't get away with this. There's five of us. Gun them down, man. <laughs> well, now, anybody else want to try that? We'll take care of that arm after we get you in jail, Dawson. Line them up and take the guns, Jingles. Sure, Bill. Jingles? Jingles, where are you? Oh, that's Aunt Sarah. In here, Aunt Sarah! Hurry up, Jingles. We want to get this bunch in jail before the rest of the crooks in town hit the trail. Oh, there you are, Jingle Pie. Oh, now, don't call me that, Aunt Sarah. What's going on here, anyway? I heard shooting. You sure did. A couple of those ground squirrels was loco enough to try to pull a gun on Bill. What have they done? Just about everything that's against the law. We're taking them to jail. All right, you gents, let's start walking. <laughs> a couple of more halls like this, and Red Dog might be a pretty good town to live in. Blake, what are you going to do next? Two days you've been waiting to get a shot at Hickok, and he's too smart for you. He ain't too smart for me, but I ain't going to make the mistake of trying to beat him to the draw. I saw you try that once. You're lucky you're still living. I got a plan now, Slash. We'll hit Hickok and Jingles where they can't hit back. That better work. If you don't get those birds out of that jail pretty quick, you might just as well leave the country. I'll get them out. Now listen. In a few minutes, Hickok and Jingles will go across the street from the hotel to the jail to feed the prison. Yeah? What do we do? Jump them then? You nuthead, you don't jump Hickok without getting hurt. Then what do we do? I'm telling you. While they're at the jail, we walk into the hotel and grab the old lady. Jingles, then? That's right. We lock her in a hotel room and hold her while we do business with Hickok. Yeah. Might work. Sure it'll work. And Hickok better do business our way, or that'll be the end of Aunt Sarah. Hey, 
Here's the other kettle of stew, Jingles, and there's hot bread in the oven. Oh, now, Aunt Sarah, this kind of grub is just too darn good for those varmints over in the jail. Mm, they sure eat plenty of it. Uh, when are you and Bill taking them to Santa Fe? Well, we got to round up Todd Blake and his sidekick, and then I think we'll have them all. Well, good. When you get them all in jail, I'll collect their room rent. When we've got them all locked up, Jingles can ride in and get the sheriff and a posse and take the whole bunch to the county jail. My stars, with all the crooks in jail, the town's almost deserted. Well, that's good. Maybe some decent people can move in then. Well, everything's here now. Jingles, you take the stew, and Bill can carry the bread and coffee. Now, careful now. Don't you boys burn yourselves. If any of the prisoners want some more, I'll be glad to fix it. Oh, this is enough for them. I'll be glad when we get them to Santa Fe, and I won't have to carry their grub to them. Well, that's that. Now I can start cleaning things up a little bit. I'll land when I bought a hotel. I never thought I'd be cooking for a bunch of jail food. All right, lady, just drop them pans. You're coming with us. Mr. Blake. That's right, Mr. Blake. And you and those two lawmen are giving me all the trouble I feel like taking. You get away from Grab me. Grab a slash before oh, Hickok and Jingles get back. All right, come here, you. Oh, she hit me. Oh, oh no, brain, no. I'll get her. No, you stay away from me. Come on, slash after her. Wranglers, listen to this. Great news about something you'll want, and they're free of extra cost. Somebody giving something away for free? Something good, Charlie? You bet, Slim. Something every cowboy and cowgirl listening will want, especially with Halloween coming up. <laughs> oh, boy, I know. The cutout mask on the backs of the large size Rice Krispies and all Corn Flakes packages. Right as rain, Slim. And Wrangler pals, wait until you see these cutout masks. Funny ones, weird ones, scary ones, spooky ones, pirates, gorillas, witches, snarling tigers, painted African warriors with pointed teeth, just about any kind of mask you want for a Halloween party or for trick-or-treats. And you get them free of extra cost when Mom buys Kellogg's Rice Krispies and Kellogg's Corn Flakes. And listen to this, Wranglers. There are 12 masks in all, four on the backs of large-size Kellogg's Rice Krispies packages, and eight on the backs of Kellogg's Corn Flakes packages. Twelve different masks in all. And you'll want one of each kind, that's for sure. But you gotta get hustling. You gotta tell your mom about these masks so the next time she shops, she'll remember to get both Kellogg's Rice Krispies and Kellogg's Corn Flakes so you can cut out the mask and have lots of fun. Ask mom to shop today. Todd Blake and Slash chased Aunt Sarah up the stairs of the old hotel in the town of Red Dog, hoping to hold her and force Wild Bill to release the prisoners in the jail. But Aunt Sarah had other ideas, and she headed for safety while she yelled for help from Jingles. Lock the jail door tight, Jingles, and we'll go back and have dinner with Aunt Sarah. I'm sure ready for dinner. You're always ready. Jingles! Jingles, help! Bill, Bill, that's Aunt Sarah. Come on, back to the hotel. Get down, Jingles. They've got the street covered. Bill, I'm behind this barrel. Where are you? Back of this stone post. Can you see them? Yeah, the shots came from the downstairs windows. If we cross the street, they'll pick us off in a hurry. But what about Aunt Sarah? I don't know where she is. Well, if they've done anything to her, I'll shoot their ears off one at a time. Let's see if we can find out where they are. You want to stick your head up near a window and find out if we can? You don't scare me. You try anything funny and you'll find that aunt of yours real dead. They've got Aunt Sarah, Bill. What's your proposition, Blake? Open up that jail and turn everybody loose. The old lady will be all right. I'm afraid I can't do that. You're better. And I'm not giving you much time. Bill, maybe we'll have to... Somebody open the window upstairs. I'll get him. Hold your fire, Jingles. That's oh. Aunt Sarah. Jingles, what are you? Here I am down here, Aunt Sarah. Don't you worry about me, Jingles. I'm locking the room up here. Slash, go up and shoot the lock off that door and grab the old lady. Okay, Todd. Those sidewinders, Aunt Sarah. Aunt Sarah! I'm going to throw you one of my guns. If they come up there, you use it. Careful now, Jingles. <laughs> Wow, 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 I like to tore my shirt off. Yeah, he can shoot, partner. Let me blast away at him to spoil his aim while you try to toss that gun through the window. That's a good idea. You ready? Yeah. 
Now. Well, that kept him undercover. Did you get the gun to Aunt Sarah? Yeah, she caught it like a center fielder grabbing a long fly. Aunt Sarah, now no! Stay where you are till we can rescue you. She'll start a war and get herself killed, Bill. Uh-oh, there she goes. Somebody's throwing an awful lot of land. I'll bet Aunt Sarah's throwing her share. That'll keep Blake off our neck. Come on, Jingles. Well, so far we ain't been shot at. Sounds like all three of them are blasting away inside. Sure does. There we are. Open the door. It's locked. Smash it down. I can do that easy enough. But go! Look out! Don't try to pick up that gun, Blake. You're through. Where's your sidekick, Slice? I don't know. He went upstairs. Upstairs? Aunt Sarah's up there. No, I'm not, Jingles. You'll find Slash up there with a bullet in his shoulder, and here's his gun. You shot him? Sure I shot him. And if you hadn't been so stingy with the ammunition when you tossed me that gun, I'd have shot this other one, too. What a woman. The idea of them two busting into my hotel, tracking dirt into my clean kitchen, and then making a mess of all my housekeeping. Well, Jingles, looks like the last part of our job and Red Dog has been done for. Yeah, now we can get back to Santa Fe and catch up on our sleep. Oh, no, you can't. After you turn in your prisoners, you come right back here and help me get this hotel in shape. And after that, I may buy a few more buildings around town with a woman's touch and a few neighbors moving in. This could be a real peaceful place to live. Oh, me. Maybe so, but I got a hunch. (laughs) There ain't going to be no peace for anybody with Aunt Sarah around. Aunt Sarah, you're a real determined woman. I couldn't have done a thing without you and Billy Pie. Billy Pie? <laughs> and now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. Well, that was the story of Aunt Sarah's gunfight. Andy, what's the story on Monday about? Guy, there's hot lead and hard riding aplenty in our next adventure called Thunder and Lightning. So long, kids. See you Monday. Tell Dad and Mom about it, Wranglers. October is restaurant month. Time to eat out because a restaurant meal is a wonderful change. You'll like it, and so will Mom, because it gives her a break from the hot stove and cooking. Now, remind Dad and Mom to eat out several times during restaurant month. And for breakfast, remember, at restaurants everywhere, you'll find those appetizing individual packages of Kellogg's cereals, all different kinds, just like you get in Kellogg's Variety Pack at home. Be sure to eat at a restaurant several times this month. Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Monty Margette, Harry Bartell, and Hal Gerard. Our story was written and directed by Paul Pierce, music by Dick O'Ron. This is a David Heyer production, transcribed in Hollywood. Now, this is Charlie Lyon, speaking for Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals. Reminding you to listen again Monday, same time, same station, for another adventure of 